Hey nerd family and welcome back to another video. Today is the long awaited time for some. We have NBC's Peacock TV. We're going to take a quick look at that. But before we jump in, we're going to go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you back here in a second. Alright guys, and welcome back. As always, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be diving into NBC's Peacock. It's the new streaming service from NBC, for those of you that don't know. It just launched today. It's actually just a little bit past midnight here for me. I've had a little bit of time to kind of mess around with it. But today we're just going to take a quick look. I didn't have enough time with it just launching for me to really fact check everything or kind of put it through its paces. So we're just going to take a quick peek today and kind of see what it's going to offer us on day one. Now, it's still too early that on all my devices, both Android and Apple, there is no app out just yet. I assume it's probably coming later today, but there's nothing yet. And I will point out that there are a few minor issues that I've noticed. It could just be for me but I do have a dual screen set up on my computer here and it would not allow me to play anything live or pre-recorded it kept telling me I had to disable my other monitor and just as a safety measure I tested it across Netflix, Hulu and a few other streaming services and none of them had any issues playing any videos with my dual screen set up so that is something for them to work on so hopefully they will be able to fix that going forward Let's go ahead and dive into Peacock here. Now we're going to take just a quick look and see what they got. So for starters, as you uh, log in, you're going to be uh, shown the main screen here. It's going to, of course, show you some quick stuff across the top here that you can watch. So some cool things there. You have your options up at the top here. You can switch over to channels. We're right now set at browse. You can go browse by featured, TV shows, movies, kids, news, sports, and Latino. And then of course you can search if you know what you're looking for. And then you have your account section over here on the right hand side. We're going to take a look at channels. This is going to be your live content. Now you'll notice here it may start playing the video and then it's going to kick me out and tell me that I can't watch it. There we go. So unfortunately, I can't really show you at the moment, you know, what it would normally show us, but you get your live guide there, um, and you can tune into your channels. Unfortunately, I can't with the dual screen here. So we're going to dismiss that, and it's going to put us right back to browse. I will hopefully be able to show you guys some more of that in the future, but that is the live section. Under browse, we have, again, our featured. So if you scroll down under featured, of course, you're going to have a lot of categories here. So you got your peacock picks. I just added something to the watch list just to kind of see how it worked there. That is the show that I tried to play, and it failed just as the live TV did, as you saw just a moment ago. You do have your peacock originals. You do have your featured films, your laugh out loud, epic dramas, reality fix, featured channels, big screen hits, Black Voices, Comfort TV, True Crime, Always On, Kids Corner, Road to Tokyo, Up for the Challenge, Timeless Classics, Hidden Gems, Sci-Fi and Fantasy, Crime Solvers, Hitchcock and Horror, Based on the Book, Adrenaline Junkies, All You Need is Love. I mean, this thing is packed. So, we're going to kind of take a little bit of a deeper dive just to kind of show you what they got. But, what I will tell you guys is... If you're going category by category here, let's go ahead and click on TV shows. They have a total of 258 TV shows currently. Now, of course, you're going to have your genres. You can break it down, but the easiest way for us to scroll through this is to go all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to look for A to Z, and we're going to view all. So we'll take a quick scroll down through here, and you're going to see they have a lot of content. Now, I may be right, maybe wrong. Again, I haven't fact-checked everything. But as we scroll down, I'll just tell you that what I did here is that it's not going to be just NBC content. 
Uh, they called this Peacock because reasons of the NBC logo, but they also wanted to make sure that they have other content from other providers on here as well. So you're going to see a lot of shows that aren't just NBC. I'm happy to see Below Deck because when I was flying to or from one of my cruises, I caught uh, On Deck on the plane as one of the free TV shows. I saw a few episodes and I was kind of hooked and I haven't been able to find it for free anywhere, so I am glad to see that. There's a lot of other shows on here. Shows that are old, shows that are new, some that I've never seen before, some that I've never heard of. Uh, Code Monkeys, if you guys have never seen Code Monkeys, is a hilarious show, at least I think so, so you gotta watch that. But as I said, new and old, and all sorts of things on here. I am seeing a couple shows as we scroll through that I know are not NBC shows, uh, so they definitely bought the uh, the rights to some of those to be able to have them on here. As I said, they did uh, plan to have a collection of things from other uh, channels as well, so they should have a lot of stuff on here. Like I said, there is a total of 258 shows in here. So I'm going to scroll a little bit faster so that way we can try to get this video to be quick. My goal is to get this video shot, edited, and posted for you guys today. So I'm hoping that I can get through this pretty quickly for the first look. There, of course, will be more videos going forward. You guys just let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. If there's certain things you would like to have me cover for Peacock and or any other streaming services, but let me know what you'd like to see going forward with Peacock or if you have any questions that I can make a video for and I'll definitely do that. But as you guys can see there is a lot of content on here. So I'm definitely going to be uh, stuck binging a lot of the shows on here. Now I did sign up for one year. We'll go over the pricing a little bit later in the video but I did sign up for one year so I will have the service for at least one year. So that's going to be the end of the TV shows. If we go over to movies, you can do the same concept. You can, of course, browse by the uh, genres or the um, categories, I mean, that come up here. But we're going to, again, scroll down to the bottom and do A to Z. Now, I don't know if we're going to go through all of them because they have a total of 718 movies on day one. I mean, that's a lot of movies on day one. Obviously, if you compare it to you know, Netflix and what Hulu has and everything else, I'm, I'm sure that there's, you know, a long shot. But, I mean, they're, they're right now giving Disney a run for their money because I don't know that Disney has 718 movies, but I haven't counted, so I could be wrong. At least on day one, I don't think Disney had 718 movies out. So, I mean, for day one to have 718 movies and 258 TV shows it's definitely a platform to uh, to be trying out and uh, they do have a free plan we'll cover those prices here momentarily but there is a free plan it is going to be slightly limited though you won't get all the content it's not going to unlock everything for you but you do have a free option so I'm sure you can get some stuff for free hopefully it'll be enough for you but if not then you can go to the next tier up but there is three total tiers. But as we're scrolling through, you can see a lot of great things. They do have uh, the partnership there with DreamWorks. Uh, obviously, they own Universal. So for those of you that don't know, the, uh, the head of NBC is Comcast. So you got Comcast being at the head of the company and uh, trickling down to NBC which is also universal and they've got a lot of partnerships in the movie and TV industry. They also currently do still own 33% uh, of Hulu but they did give Disney the full rights to basically do whatever they want. They have full control over it and there is plans in motion that they are selling the 33% to Disney for Disney to own 100% of Hulu by 2024. I can't say if that's going to go through, but that is what's out there. Uh, so Hulu will own all of it, but there's still contracts in place from what I was reading that NBC, at least probably up until that 2024, has the right or option if they would like to have their content put on Hulu as well as stream on Peacock at the same time. So who knows what they will choose to do going forward, but they do have the right to do so. 
but just looking at all the content that's on here, I mean, they are definitely going to be giving everybody a run for their money, especially if it's not just NBC content. You know, if they're mixing in other things as well. I mean, obviously HBO is going to have their HBO stuff, and uh, Hulu and Disney is going to have their stuff. But I mean, they are definitely going to be uh, something to uh, to look at here. Hopefully I'm not going too fast here for you guys, but I'm hoping to make this a quick look for you. And we're already reaching about 10 minutes here, so I'm going to try to speed up the rest of it. So that's the movies section there. They do have a kids section, so we will cover that real quickly here. Again, we're going to scroll down to the end just so you can see everything that's on here and go view all. Now in this kids section, they do have 49 items here that they do consider kid friendly. If you guys would like to see a kids version of how this functions for kids, if you'd like to see me do a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. We can look over the parental control options or if they have kid profiles. I haven't gotten into any of that just yet, so I don't know. I can't really tell you at the moment, but I'm sure they have some kind of options. But at least bare minimum, they do have options that are kid friendly and 49 of them to be exact. You can also get your news on here. So I haven't really gone through and looked at all the news or anything just yet. But it seems as though there's quite a bit of news. And I know that on the live side, you can, of course, watch the live news as well. So they do have quite a bit of news. They do have some sports in here. I don't know what they'll have going forward, if they're going to work on getting more contracts with different sports and things of that nature. But it appears that you can do quite a bit of sports related stuff in here as well as they have some sports like TV shows and, and game shows and things like that but it looks like you can get quite a bit of sports content as well. I don't know too much about the Latino stuff but we'll take a quick peek in that Latino category can't really tell you what any of these things are but it does look like they got quite a bit of content in there as well for any of you Spanish speakers. So you guys will have to tell me in the comments, any of you that speak Spanish, if it looks like they got a lot of stuff here for you. Alright. We're going to quickly jump back to Featured, because I do want to cover one more thing here, and that's the Originals. They don't have a whole lot of Originals just yet. A lot of it, unfortunately, has been pushed back because of the coronavirus. So uh, I know that the one I was looking forward to is Saved by the Bell. So Saved by the Bell will be coming in the future. It's just unfortunately been pushed back along with most of their other originals that uh, were in production but have been slated for uh, later this year or early next year. And a, f a few of the other shows that are going to be coming from Netflix and other places, just we have to wait for the contracts on those to run out for us to be able to get them. But as of right now, these are the originals that it comes with. So there are 10 originals that they currently have, and there'll be more coming. And I'll definitely talk more about the originals in a coming video, as well as some other content that will be coming, whether original or not, in a further video. So to sum it up, guys, quickly looking at it, it looks like they have quite a bit of content, and I'm going to be excited to see what there is to come in the year that I have it. We'll see if it takes the cake and if it's going to be a streaming service to keep going forward. But that's going to be it today for Peacock. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something good out of this video. I do have a special offer for you guys. So anyone that stuck through towards the end of the video here, hopefully you'll hear this special offer. I did get three months of Peacock free. It's the premium plan. So anyone that would like the premium plan of Peacock free for three months, I have a promo code. Now, anyone that is a Google subscriber should get the same promo code. So look in your email if you have some form of Google, whether it be Gmail or a YouTube account or anything like that. You should get the email for three free months. It does have an expiration date on there. I don't recall what it is off the top of my head, but you should have a little bit of time to use that. For anyone that doesn't have a Google account, some of you Apple users that are out there, or if you just can't find the email with the promo code, if you would like the three free months, please go ahead and message me on Facebook at the Nerd Word channel, and I'll go ahead and get that code for you. The first person to message will be the person to get the code. I only have one code to give. So if you would like that, please let me know.
let's go ahead and cover the price. There is a free tier, like I said, but that free tier is going to be limited. I don't know exactly how limited it's going to be since I don't have the free tier, but from what I have read, it does limit what you can actually watch. So you may or may not have access to these originals, as it says exclusive to premium, but I did hear that they were going to put like the first episode of the shows to kind of hook you in. So you may have the first episode of the uh, episode of these shows, but not the full shows. And I do believe they're going to block out uh, more than half of the TV shows and movies, and I don't think that the free tier comes with Latino. So there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, limited stuff with it, but you do have the free option. The next one is going to be more of an all-inclusive, where it does include everything, but it has ads, which is going to be called premium. So that premium is going to come in at $4.99 a month, or you can, of course, save money and do a yearly plan at $49 for the whole year. If you want the premium but with no ads, then of course you can opt for the no ads premium, which is $9.99 a month, or again if you'd like to save money, then you can do it for $100 for the year. So you do have a bunch of options. Whatever fits you is what you can choose to do. So hopefully you guys will find that Peacock is something you'd like to try. I'm sure that there are still some free trials going on out there, whether it be a week, two weeks, a month. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of free trials to come. So make sure you guys get out there and start searching, seeing what you can find, so that way you guys can jump in and test it out. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll go ahead and answer them as quickly and knowledgeable as possible. Just a little added bonus. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the account section here. So for anyone that is interested, this is what the account section would look like. It, of course, tells you what plan you're on. You can enter the promo code here. You can turn on advanced, uh, enhanced security. So that's what I have turned on, so it doesn't really show any of my account details. And if I want to change it, it does have to send a, a two-factor authentication to my phone. It does tell you when your upcoming payments are, so it's nice to know that. And you can link your providers, Xfinity or Cox. And the reason it gives you those options is because Xfinity and currently Xfinity and Cox customers uh, do get the premium. I don't know if it's premium, no ads. I think it's just premium, but they do get premium for free. Now, I don't know if they're going to always do that for Cox customers. Uh, I know that they will for Xfinity since Xfinity is a Comcast company, but I think Cox, they're doing it right now just to kind of get out there. So I don't know if that's a temporary time or not, but you can link your providers there and we have a settings tab here so under the settings you can of course change your email notifications your enhanced security parental controls and subtitle appearance so you do have a few options there does not seem to be any user accounts as of yet so most of the other streaming services are setting up your user accounts uh, whereas where we would see like a kid profile things like that it doesn't seem like we have that just yet but it is still day one so I'm sure there's gonna be many many tweaks to come but it does have your parental control option, so we can take a peek at that going forward in a further video. Alright guys, as always, I want to thank you again for watching. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy out there. Of course, if there's anything that I forgot, I'll leave it in the description. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to share this video across any social media platform that you like. If you guys aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to ring the bell so you get notified any new content to come out. Leave any comments in the comment section down below. Of course, you can follow the links on the screen to any of the older content. And until next time, guys, stay nerdy.